Hello everyone, we have another island tour today and this island is by Nora from Horrible Gaming. Her Instagram is underscore horrible gaming and I'll have all her information um, in the description box. But this is a rustic city island and this is the flag. Nice city. And let's as always start at the entrance. Alright, so let's check Nora's map. And we have these villagers. And there's not a lot of pavement, which I totally understand. I don't really use the in-game pavement too much. I use, like, codes and stuff. So, yeah, that is the map of Akala Isle. And then here's the entrance. I can tell that it already looks so structured. And it looks like we have a train track. So we do have a train station over here. And look at the train what okay and there's a lot of wood tones that door is really cool we've got benches and I guess we can go to the right right here we have a house so yeah this is the exterior it blends really well and let's just make our way inside. So here we've got a nice Christmas setup going on with a lot of wood. And yeah, definitely festive. It's kind of making me sad because it's not even Christmas anymore. But yeah, this holiday candle is beautiful. And a lot of the rooms aren't done, which is totally fine. And this is like a little cabin that's very festive there's a christmas tree and why don't we make our make our way to the upstairs and up here we've got the bedroom and she did divide the rooms into two and then she has our bathroom here with double sinks this relaxing tub so yeah she made this room kind of like two that's actually a really good idea to do. This is very, very pretty. This is the kitchen. And we have the kitchen over here, very big. And we do have a dining sitting area over here. And it's, again, festive. So this is this room. I actually really like how there is this little phone booth in here. Okay, so that was the house, and we have an incline up here, and wow, little pathway, Marshall's walking, and we have like villagers, okay, Raymond's house is right here, and yes, he does look like he's in the city, ooh, what's this, what is that little building, definitely just some buildings in the distance, with like the trash bags, this is such a cool design. It's definitely rustic. And we actually can get a better look. Right there. And this is a land bridge. We've got another villager in the city. Wow. This is like a clothing shop. Little boutique. Those structures are on another level. This is the April Sisters. Like, they literally look so realistic. This door is stunning. Little sitting area with the clock. Wow, look at that view. What is this? Oh, sit. This is a whole city. Oh my gosh. Wait. What? This is like a whole city. I. Oh my goodness. It looks like cyberpunk, kind of. Very cool. This is such a creative island. This is definitely a rustic city, like, to the max. And all of this is just the city view.
There's a lot of rusted areas and things. Wow. And here we are in the city. We're actually down here. Ooh, look at the graffiti. Hey, that one says butts on it. Thank you for that message. Oh my goodness. This, actually, this thing is so cool. You can make it look like a building. And this is a server. Here we have another house. And, yeah, her houses are very spread out in the city. And they look like apartments. Wow. This is so incredible. It's so cluttered. And it has so many items. And we have a... Oh, another train station. And... Ooh, music playing. Wow. A building. It honestly might be a toy shop. We have the museum right here, and I love these boxes and the trash. The museum is right here. Oh my gosh, I thought there was a bug on me. Here. This is a museum. This is a drainage hole. Oh my god. And let's go back up here and go to this place. This is a villager's house. I really love the inspirational graffiti. And a lot of codes are used. I don't, like, it looks like so many codes are used. Down here, we've got a train. Ooh. And we have Coco. Ooh, gas station. Gas station over here. I see some seafood. Oh, uh, probably a seafood restaurant. We have to go see that. Um, yes, we definitely have a seafood for sale. Ooh, rusted blue panel. And here's where they give you some fish. They cut it up and then they sell it to you by the pound. That is really cool. There's so many fish on display that they sell. So many simple panels used on this island. And a villager house is right here. She basically transformed the whole beach into not a beach anymore. It's just... It's like a fish market area. This is awesome. Um, okay, that thing kind of scared me. Um, so many cool fish. This one is awesome. Oh, this thing is scary. <gasps> this thing is scary. There's so many things. I'm just gonna pass over you, Mr. Krabs. And this is a more clutter on the beach and continuation. Do any of you guys play Stardew Valley? Um, please let me know in the comments. I just started playing it, uh, two days ago. And I like it. It's definitely a little bit hard to navigate at first. Um, I don't know, man. And I'm just get uh, getting ready to, like, start decorating my island. But that's gonna be probably... Oh, it's not even an island. It's, it's a farm. Please just tell me about your farm and, like, what you have on it if you play it. And continuing on the beach, there's a lot of trashy areas, and it's definitely transformed. Like, this whole beach area is covered with, like, the wood, and the jail bars definitely make a big difference. Ooh. Yes, of course. And if you look at it like that, then that's, like, the full building effect. Honestly, Nora from Instagram, that's where I know her from. Um, she does some amazing builds, like, this is an example, but if you guys want to be, like, inspired literally so much, you can go follow her on Instagram. She does, like, a new island every, like, couple weeks, I would say, and they're always so detailed and 
so amazing. And like, after she's done with an island, she'll just like restart and do another theme and every theme is like so cool. So yeah, Nora is definitely one of my favorite like creators on Instagram because she's always so creative. So that's cool. Ooh, we've got a laundromat over here. It's outside and we got clothes. Cute. You can pass the time by reading some books. And I like this little hidden seating. Laundromat right here. It's really nice. It's like a little mini area. So cool. This is like a little alleyway. Oh my gosh. So cool. I don't know what to take a picture of. Mmm. Everything is so cool. I don't know what. Ooh, but wait, we didn't even see. Okay, so there's like this bike area, but I really love this alleyway. Like, what? It's stunning. I'm gonna actually go closer. So past this alleyway, we have like a little cafe area. Oh, cafe, yes. And this is an interesting thing. Wait, can we light these up? No. They only turn on at night. But this is Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Why am I yelling? I don't know. But this is Santa's sleigh, and then those are the reindeers. This is a bed. Oh, it's a chair. It's a couch. I think that it's really hard to pick a theme for your island. So, like, obviously there's, like, the modern and then there's, like, the vintage kind of themes. Like, if you're going for a city theme or if you're going for, like, a forest. And I feel like they're both cool. Especially if you add a lot of details. And you just, like, make it cool. I don't know. You just gotta be creative when choosing, like, island, what you want your island to look like. But it's, like, pretty hard to choose, like, what theme do you want to do? But I think that I'm, after, like, doing, I did, like, the cottage core um, theme, and it's stunning. It really is. I love it. But I think I'm going to go for a city, more structured island next. I'm actually restarting my island, so. And I'm probably going to post a video of me flattening it out, and, yeah. And speed it up so it's like really cool me just destroying my hours of work but yeah I'm gonna do a city kind of and it's gonna be like a sophisticated city with like a lot of brown it's gonna be like dark academia and like a university I keep on looking at this like it's actually relaxing and in the snow it's a real lookout area and wow, these things like go perfect in the city. The sign. And we have this pier right here and a lot of brick. And let's go down. Barrels here look awesome, piled up. There's like so many. And this is the campsite. So interesting. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a campsite like this. It's like the trashiest thing that you've ever seen, but it looks so cool. There's a toilet and trash boxes. And this is where your beautiful five-star campsite is. Very relaxing and luxurious. Look at that building. I think that that was it for the island. I was really blown away. This is such a creative island. If you guys like this video, you can subscribe and like it. I would really appreciate that a lot. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of other games. If you guys want to see me flatten my island, um, keep on watching my channel and subscribe. I'm going to be posting that soon. 
and thank you for the support on just being here right now. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I'll see you on another video. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you later. Goodbye. Womp, 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 womp. And here's my room. If you stayed uh, this long in the video, what? You're crazy. You are scandalous. And thank you so much for that. I guess if you know that you are here, then comment. Uh, comment hat in the in the comments. I wonder if anyone made it this far. That's really interesting. Let's see. So yeah, it's time to go. I guess you know, this is kind of like my room. So I guess um, it'd be better if you would leave, cause I mean this is my private, you know, my room. I mean I didn't really invite you here, so. I mean, I would really appreciate if you would just, um, leave me to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go now. Goodbye now. Oh my, I see that you're still here.